What's up guys, Steve Thomas. Check out my 2021 Polygon Sys QT8. travel does this bike have? Uh, 150 millimeter front, 140 rear. You're running a Fox 34 yep. fork. And what is the, the coil shock? The coil shock is a Marzocchi Bomber CR. Um, coolest part of that shock is the spring deck spring. So it is a variable rate spring. So I can go from 430 pounds with this little indicator here all the way up to 500 pounds. And it's also progressive. So with this frame having kind of a linear leverage curve with the linkage driven, um, single pivot it just it helps bring a little bit of life back to the bike so that way i have a support to push on so i can still jib bunny hop and all that sort of stuff um another cool standout feature that i added was these industry nine one-to-one -one enduro s wheels um thought it'd be a good idea to bash up my stock wheels but these here are super light shaved about five pounds off of the weight from the oe wheel set um engagement is awesome i think it's 90 points of engagement on the rear and yeah, they've just been super bomb proof. I got run a Tannis inserts in the front and rear to prevent any more oopsies. Um, what else is another cool part on this? Oh, uh, drivetrain. So mostly stock SLX, but I've added the SLX cranks and the absolute black chain ring. Um, huge game changer for me in knee pain, traction, fatigue, all of it has been a marked improvement having that. I can agree on the oval chain ring because I also feel that same way. Yeah. So if you're watching this video, Oval chain rings are real. They are the way to go. They are the future. <laughs> Especially for flat pedal, in yeah. my opinion. <laughs> Steve, do you know how much the bike weighs right now? 34.8 pounds. That's okay. with coil, inserts front and rear. Um, yeah, it's actually really efficient. It's not going to get you up to the hill the fastest, but you're not going to have any complaints having a solid pedaling platform with this thing. So it's basically my mini enduro rig. You know, it works really well on the steep stuff. It works really well on the chunk stuff, but you know, it's not a burden to pedal when I need to. So it, it's just a really good all around do it all bike. Definitely the quiver killer. Are those custom Fox decals? Yes, they are. Who did those for you? Uh, Fanatic. Did they do any of the other stuff on the bike or just no, the just fork those. decals? So everything else is wrapped in 3M clear bra. And then on the fork, I have a ride wrap. So just to keep everything fresh. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, this thing, uh, the purple is a really sick paint job, yeah. but then the way you accented everything looks so good. Yeah. Tried to go for the galaxy theme a little bit, keep it with some tasteful oil slick and the oil, the gold bits to go with the compression knob on the shock. Um, you know, just try and keep it cohesive, but a little bit fresh, you know. And then you're running the TRP slate brakes. Yep. Are those two or four? Piston? These are four piston front and rear. So these just recently got the Evo treatment for 2021. Um, so you get the dimpled levers, you get the larger um diameter pistons you get the new 5.5 millimeter hose so you can increase brake pressure haven't really got a chance to ride them yet but i'm really excited with how they've been bedding in they have a ton of power ton of modulation with them um also just you know just to keep also things fresh had to have the oil slick titanium everywhere so better bolts hooked me up with the package for the calipers front and rear so you'll see little little tie bits over the bike All right, money aside, if you could change one thing right now, what would it be? Um, would probably be to a 36 fork, 36 factory, just to get a little bit more out of the damper. Making the grip two work with the 34, but that would be the one thing that I would change money aside. Other than that, I really can't complain with it. Um, Wheels have been awesome. Drivetrain has been bomb proof. Brakes work phenomenally. Rear suspension, I've got that to a point where I'm happy. The fork is the only thing that I haven't touched OE that could give me a little bit more feel out of it. But, you know, like I said, I haven't been let down with the 34. I'm a lighter guy and it's been off, you know, 25 foot road gaps and I haven't bottomed with my suspension set up. So I can't ask for much more out of the bike. 
Is the fork the only thing that is literally the only thing left stock? Yes. And then you got the PNW dropper post. How much travel you got in that this dropper? This is a 170. Um, I was really impressed with the stack height over the stock uh, 150 Transex Kitsuma. So with this, I still have the same insertion depth, and then I probably could get a 200 in there with the PNW insertion depth. Um, SDG saddle just always played nice with my behind, so, <laughs> so I stick with what I know. <laughs> yeah, saddles are a very personal preference. So and then you can't can't miss the purple ring there. It all, all works together. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sick. You're also a flat pedal guy. Of course. No clips for you? No, never. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> the feet come off, the shenanigans happen, you need the knacks in there. I I just feel more comfortable that way on the flats, man. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, Steve, it's a super sick bike. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, no problem, dude. Thanks for having me.